Hey guys, Jess with Drifter Journey here with a how-to video. We get asked questions about our window coverings because they're very cheap, they're homemade, so it's a good DIY solution for those of you who don't want to spend a ton of money but also want some privacy and um, some insulation. So these are our Harbor Freight moving blanket curtains. So you can see it's just held up in our window here. Uh, we have a window both on the slider door and on the, the driver's side of our van. Um, we have them held up with magnets along the top and along the sides. And so this whole video is going to be about how we made them. So here are the, some of the supplies that you're going to need. Um, we've got some just standard black thread. Uh, it's poly thread, so you're going to want something a little bit durable, not like real cheap cotton thread. Um, we did buy some thicker sewing machine needles, so these are for denim sewing. And the reason for that is because you're going through uh, this thick duck canvas material um, and a moving blanket material. So we're actually on our second round of curtains. The first ones that we did, we actually just bought some cheap cotton fabric and it didn't last very long. So this time around we bought this much thicker, more durable duck canvas and that's one of the reasons why you need a more durable sewing machine needle as well. Uh, you'll need some scissors and if you want a measuring tape that helps but we just kind of eyeballed it. Um, and then lastly you need a sewing machine. You can borrow a friend. Um, sometimes you can find uh, communities on Facebook that you can kind of share equipment or there's maker spaces as well. Um, so basically how we started is buy yourself a, I think this is a three foot by five foot Harbor Freight moving blanket. I think they run about six dollars at Harbor Freight. Um, and then you're gonna wanna hem the edges. So the factory hem that comes on these is not real good. You'll notice that when you get it, it's probably gonna be fraying and uh, kind of falling apart. So if you start it with that, it's, it's not gonna last very long in the van. So in order to hem the edge, you don't just fold the moving blanket. You're gonna wanna make a whole new edge. Essentially what you're doing is Cutting a rectangular strip the length of the moving blanket. You're going to hem both sides of that so that you don't have loose fabric. And then you're going to sew that all along the edge of your moving blanket. And you're going to do that on all four sides. However, for the sides that hold your magnets, you'll want wide, wide strips. So this strip. Um, this is how wide it is, but depending on your magnets, you'll want to customize that. And uh, speaking of magnets, this solution works for us because in our build, uh, we just have felt over the wood, or sorry, the metal um, around our windows. So the magnets stick to it just fine. If you framed out your windows with wood or something else, um, you may have to figure out a different solution for how to attach your curtains. Um, the magnets that we bought are the, the heavy duty rare earth, uh, they're big square ones, you can see their profile up underneath this fabric, so you do need heavier weight ones, otherwise they won't be able to hold up the weight of this heavy curtain. So in order to get the magnets in, it is a little bit tricky because the foot of the sewing machine, not only does it want to try to gravitate towards the magnet in this section, but it actually means that you won't have as tight of a pocket for the magnet. So what you're gonna do is sew all along this top edge and then make two seams for the magnet pouch and then you shove the magnet in from there and then you can see that we put this tiny seam to hold it in before we sewed the entire length of the opposite end of the hem. So that way you're able to get the magnet as tight up to the top of the curtain as possible, um, as well as keeping that pouch small. We found in our last curtains that we had, if the pouch is big enough for that magnet to slide around too much, it'll actually wear the fabric down a lot faster and then it'll start poking out and uh, we actually have some scratches on our door because the magnets start to scratch the metal. The last feature of these is um, I added some extra duct canvas on the corners and this is just simply to give it a little bit more durability as well as when we fold the curtain in half um, it gives a little bit more insulation between the magnets so you go like that it's just kind of
kind of keeps it nice and neat and square. The other nice uh, DIY project that we did at the same time is some fan covers. So these are also made out of moving blankets on the inside, but then I wrapped them in a much nicer fabric. Essentially, I just cut a moving blanket into the size of our fan hole and then um, put magnets on the inside of the fan faceplate as well as glued them to the, the Harbor Freight uh, moving blanket before we covered it in a nicer fabric. So we'll show you in the van how these all go up nice and neat. So we'll show you how the fan cover and the window covers go on. Um, one thing that I would suggest you guys do differently than us is when you put your magnets up in the faceplate of the fan, have them all facing the same way um, so that when you put your cover up it's very easy to just flap it on no matter what direction. Our did not orient the magnets the same way so there is a very specific orientation of this cover that works um, in every other way there's at least one or two magnets that don't so um, we just have one magnet in each corner and then one magnet in the middle um, and it just holds it up there nice and clean for both the front and the back fans. and then the window cover is similar uh, we have the metal of the band that it sticks to and I just get the top up first and then you can kind of inch it side to side depending on how it works out. Um, this one we ended up cutting shorter. Our old one was longer and we just tucked the slack down in there but I cut this one shorter this time so that we had less excess and you can see that it fits pretty well. It gives us not only a blackout curtain but it also insulates us from cold air or hot air depending on the weather outside. Thanks for watching guys, that's our quick DIY tutorial for how to make uh, very cheap and expensive homemade um, moving blanket curtains for your van windows. Again, the cost is pretty low, I'm no sewing expert and we don't really know what we're doing and we were able to figure it out, so I'm sure that you can too. Definitely let us know if you have any questions in the comments. Um, the cost overall we expect was probably around $50 between the moving blankets, the extra fabric, um, the sewing needles, the thread and the magnets, so very affordable. One thing we would suggest uh, with fan covers, we realized after we bought that fabric that it was a light color and it does tend to attract dirt and dust. So we'd go with a darker color next time even though I really like the pattern. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Again, like, comment, subscribe, let us know what other questions you have or what other videos you wanna see. We've been doing this for a couple years now so we've got a ton of information to share. We just wanna know what you wanna know. And lastly, you can subscribe to our channel and watch more videos here. Thanks again for watching guys. We are Drifter Journey on Instagram and YouTube.